Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and I know a lot of you guys are like me, where you have a lot of different Molly gear, uh, and it's so convenient being able to just have a cook kit and then attaching it to the outside of different packs. But a lot of us get lazy and we don't use our Molly properly, and so that's where these VanQuest 5 inch Molly clips come in. Uh, I really, really like these. And I wish I would have got them a lot sooner. This really would have saved me a lot of headaches. And uh, it really, it's a really great product. It's a little expensive, but for the time and effort that you save, uh, I think they're worth it. So if you want to learn how I use these with my Molly gear, stay tuned. All right, so when it comes to Molly, uh, the way you're supposed to do it is they come with these straps and buttons. And so here we have this, and it's got the straps and the buttons. And so I'm gonna show you uh, how you're supposed to use the Molly. Now, when you do this, both pouches should be empty. Uh, but I'm not gonna empty out my whole first aid kit. Uh, just every time I transfer it from bag to bag, I, I don't want to empty it out every single time. And that's where these uh, Molly clips really come in handy because you don't have to take everything out to use these. Uh, but to show you how much of a pain in the butt this is, uh, I'm going to take this. Now, you always want to start on the pouch that you're attaching to, not the pouch that's being attached. Okay, so I'm going to start in the red. Okay, and so basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to go red, black, red, black, and then snap it closed. And so, you go red, and then you weave it into the black. Alright, and then you're going to weave it into the red. See, and this is where having it empty would come in handy because then it's more pliable. So you can, it's not as rigid. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to do that one. But you can see, I went red, black, red. And now I'm going to snap it closed. <clears throat> so I got that one done. And this one, I, it's, it's a pain in the butt. You can see how this isn't ideal, right? I'm not going to sit here and waste your time because the review isn't on how to do molly. It's how to use these clips. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart. All right, so now that that's a part, I'm gonna run these through. Now I will let you guys know that uh, these Molly clips, they work better on the bigger pouches, attaching them to the backpacks and different things than they do on these smaller pouches. But I'm just gonna show you the difference here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, again, I'm going to open it up, I'm going to put it in the red, so this is open, and then you pinch it, and then it closes, it locks tight, and then that way it locks tight on this top piece of webbing, uh, so that you don't lose the clip, right? The clip's not going anywhere, and then your pouch isn't going anywhere because it's webbed through here. So you're going to open it up, you're going to push this way to open it up, you're going to start on the pouch that you're attaching to and then you're gonna weave to red black red black and then this one we're gonna go red again just because there's no end 
and then you push it down as far as it'll go as far as it'll go and then you snap it closed and then it will just locked on to this top piece of webbing here so now this can't come out right and so then you grab another one you make sure it's open you go red black red black see and this is where the bigger pouch make it easier because you have you can fold it out a little bit more and then we're gonna go red again push it down as far as it'll go clamp it and there you have it you have a pouch that's tight to the gear and it's attached it ain't going anywhere right so it ain't going nowhere so I really like how fast and easy this is you can see how I was barely able to do it with the standard molly uh, another thing is I don't clasp these buttons when I use this because sometimes uh, the tip of the clip will hit this and it won't go through that last piece of webbing. Uh, and so then uh, you can't push it down far enough to clasp it to this webbing and then you run the risk <clears throat> of losing your molly clip, it falling out. And so I always make sure to push it down so that it can clamp to the webbing on the pouch. So that, yeah, these aren't going anywhere. So yeah, a lot easier to use. Uh, and then when you want to get it off, you just unclamp them, and then they slide out super easy. So it's an easier way of attaching the molly, and it's a quicker way of detaching the molly, which is something that I think is really important, especially for a first aid kit. You want to be able to rip this off and get it to where it needs to go uh, as fast as possible and these clips allow that and it was easier to attach so like for me I have different bags and stuff and I usually end up cheating so how we end up cheating is is we take these straps out and instead of weaving them we just run them through the red and not the black at all. Right, so we run it only through the red and not the black. And then we button it. And so now this one doesn't really matter, but it's, see how it's not attached. Right, the only thing holding this on are these snaps. And so if these snaps were to come undone, you have a loose pouch and it, the snaps usually catch on the webbing. You know, sometimes they don't, sometimes they come right out, but usually you get one that catches. But you do run the risk of losing your pouch that way because all your trust is in these little snaps, right? You're trusting that the snaps don't come undone and then you're trusting that if they do come undone that they catch that they catch on the webbing and not come out so it's not a very secure or trusty way of doing it especially when you're using something like the cook kit and so let's show you how i attach my first aid kit to my rush 24. All right, so you can see I've attached my cook kit with the molly clips as well. So you can see that in there. So it is strong enough to carry the weight of a heavy cook kit. And again, these clips aren't going anywhere because they're attached to that first piece of webbing. So your clips are secure and your cook kit secure uh, with these clips. So I'm gonna try to get this on camera for you guys. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Now this is easier because it's a bigger pouch. Uh, and so I can go three wide. And so then I can ply this up a little bit. But to get this first one in, I am going to have gravity working against me. So we'll see how all this works. Uh, another thing is always make sure this is open. Some One of the things that I do a lot is I'll start trying to weave it. And then I'll get to a point and it'll hit here. And uh, it's because I forgot to open it. So again, we're going to start on the backpack. We're starting on the pouch or the bag that we're attaching to not the thing we're attaching. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go big, red pouch, big. Again, I got gravity working against me here. And then red pouch, yeah, just closed. And so then we're gonna end on the big. Okay, so we got we got big red pouch, big red pouch, big, and then we're coming up through the bottom. I don't know if you're picking that up, but then we're just gonna lock it shut, and now it's locked on to that first piece of webbing. And we're gonna take our second clip and see this is where it gets easier because now I don't have gravity fighting me because the first clip holding the bag where it needs to be as long as the molly doesn't fold all right so we're going big red pouch big what's going on here big red pouch big my molly got folded over A, a red pouch, big. This is hard to do on camera. It's easier to do it when it's on your lap. Clasp it shut. Okay, so there you have a secured here. So it's big, red pouch, big, red pouch, big. And then it sticks out through the bottom here. And uh, it's clamped to this first piece of webbing here. So this clip can't come out because it's clamped on there. And your pouch isn't going anywhere because it's ran through the webbing. And because we're not using the snap closures, it's not sticking out at all. It's tight to the bag and it's not sloshing around at all. And so for me, these are really handy. The, other thing that I like about them is that I can just, oops, wrong thing, pull them out and there's my first aid kit. So they're easy to use. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them on and I'm gonna try to just put them on without being so tech savvy with the first aid kit. So yeah, if you can't see this, Sorry, I'm just trying to show you how easy this is doing it without doing it on the camera itself. Just trying to get the good shot is really messing me up. Okay, so there's an accurate representation of how quickly you can attach this, right? I wasn't trying to get it to look good on camera. I was just getting it on there. And so you can see it doesn't take long and then I can unclamp them, pull them, and there's my first aid kit ready to go, okay? So with that being said, with how durable these are, uh, I like how the clamps clamp themselves on there so you don't have to worry about losing the molly clip because it's clamped and how tightly it clamps your pouch or your cook kit to your bag uh, and you don't have to worry about it sloshing around like you do or like I did before. 
All right, so as you can see, everything's mounted tight. Everything is where it's supposed to be. And uh, so I want to know, do you think that these clips are worth the $20? They're $20 and you get that peace of mind. You get to know that your gear is secure. I know that I can get to my first aid kit very quickly and very easily. And so the way I see it is they're $20 for four. And so I got two for my cook kit, two for my first aid kit, but I don't see me going out and buying another four for like my roll up kit here, my condor roll up pouch. You know, this, I can, I can cheat with this. This isn't as crucial as my cook kit and my first aid kit. And so I wanna know, what do you guys think? Do you think that they're worth the money or do you think that using just the standard uh, buttons and straps that come with the pouches are sufficient enough and you don't mind taking everything out and doing it the easy way? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. I, I'm very interested to see what you guys think. I, I have mixed emotions. I love having them. Uh, I like that I can attach my cook kit tight to my bag and not cheat with my cook kit or my first aid kit. I like how fast I can deploy my first aid kit by just doing those two snaps and pulling it off. Uh, I really like the features that they offer me, but $20, I don't know. <laughs> it's, I don't, I, I don't know if I would do it again. Like I said, I don't, I'm not gonna do it for all of my Molly gear, uh, but I do, I'm glad I got the four, but I don't think it's worth $20 for all your kit, is what I'm gonna say. But make sure to leave any knowledge or questions in that comment section. I wanna know what you think. Do you think they're worth the money? Do you think they're fast and easy way to attach your Molly gear? Let me know in that comment section. Then make sure to like and share this video to help spread that knowledge and those ideas to the people we care about most. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and come join the pack. I have a new video every Sunday and Thursday, and I can't wait to hear what you have to say on the next one. Thanks, guys. I don't know. Is it worth $20? I actually think it's worth $20. It's pretty cool.